Sam Buckle Griffiths. Can you feel me? Liam Griffiths and Bob Regis. Talk about people who are talking about people and the good that boxing does. He will tell you, he will tell you, boxing has turned his life around. He's had a lot thrown at him through his 25 years. And here he is, works as a carer for adults with mental health problems. Works as an MC, talks to kids, lectures kids about some of the problems that he's had to come through. Has a severely disabled brother as well, Luke, who's celebrating his 23rd birthday today. but he is a good ticket seller following his trainer Alan Smith comes from the same stable as Bradley Skeet somewhere but no Bradley's here tonight and he's a popular boy She's on telly. Ladies and gentlemen, this ladies and gentlemen is a worldwide contest of four three-minute rounds. Introducing firstly fighting out of the red corner, wearing the old blue trunks, fighting out of Bogner Regis, weighing in at 10 stone 11 pounds. Tonight competing in his ninth professional contest. Give a welcome to Liam Bucko Griffiths. And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, across the ring in the blue corner, wearing the navy blue trunks trimmed with white. He weighed in at 10 stone, 10 pound, undefeated and professional in two contests. Ladies and gentlemen, from Peckham, please welcome Johnny. <laughs> Referee in charge of the action, Mr. King Curtis, and this is for three minute rounds. So when I say break, you take a step back. In the event of a boxer going down, now one goes to a neutral corner. Defend yourself at all times. Shake hands the best of luck to both of you. Well, this could be a good little tear up. Yeah, they both look focused, they both look up for it. Judging by the record, I think any of them are bangers. Referee shooing the two boxers back into their corners. Second down, first down. And then we're underway. to please these these fans who've uh, come down and in in that uh, in that enthusiasm maybe maybe lurks a little bit of a problem potentially he doesn't want to get carried away yeah you know i sort of a so, sort of a hindrance especially early on in your career when you try to impress uh not just the tv networks but the fans you know they've all come to watch you put on a show and sometimes that can get into a bit of trouble but uh new Griffin has definitely come here to fight today one of his mates nicknamed him the Mexican. Facebook. He 
so far he looks like he, he likes to fight like a Mexican. He likes to come forward, he likes to throw punches. He's a mechanic by trade, Johnny Garton. His favourite fighter, one of my favourite fighters as well, Marco Antonio Barrera. One of my favourites as well, John. I absolutely love Barrera. Referee just giving him a few home truths about what he should be doing in there. Yeah, Griffiths just keeping it along, trying to keep Garton away with that jab. Griffiths got his shorts pulled up uh, quite high. I'd be, I'd be mourning about that straight away, John. Only one win, Griffiths, in his eight fights, but he's kind of a little bit better than that, I think. Yeah, he's just trying to keep it long. Garton's trying to come in, push the pace. Southpaw or orthodox, and it's just... Uh, Making it a bit untidy in this opening round. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be jailing well so far. Seems to, seem to be tying up and clenching quite a lot since you're getting close. Talking about the problems that Liam Griffiths has had, his mum's not well either. A severely disabled brother I told you about. One stage as a teenager, he lost his liberty. But now he does a bit of emceeing, talks to kids, and he says. Look where I am now. Life's thrown a lot of stuff at me, but I've come through thanks to boxing. Good shots there by Garton, putting a nice right hand. Griffiths backed off a little bit. Johnny Garton got Dean Powell in his corner, who manages him. And he's just a bit busier, isn't he? Yeah, he's pushing the pace, he's trying to lock for shots. I think Griffiths so far this round, he's just, he's just uh, trying to stay out of range, stay out of uh, the attack of... Garton by keeping it long, but he uses distance to go see the long, longer arms than Garton, so he's using them. The good yeah. attack there by Garton. A couple of inches taller, Griffiths trying to keep it at range, and a few uh, old fashioned stairs on the bell. Probably courtesy of a couple of body shots from Garton, which might have uh, been landed technically just after the round that ended. Yeah, they ended up stared out at each other, but uh, got a good attack from Garton towards the end. Uh, you know, he targeted the body and then brought him up top as well. Well, there we see. Possibly the sort of exchange which means for the time being they won't be on each other's Christmas card list, but come the end of it, and once the fight's over, they'll probably look back with a smile. Yeah, you know, that's why, that's why I think boxing is the, the most pure sport you can get, with two boys competing against each other, one winner, one loser, at the end of shape hands and friends. Into the second round. Griffiths is tying Garton up there on the ropes, controlling his left arm so he can't punch. At the, on the blind side of the ref, so the ref can't see it. The ref just needs to tidy this up a bit. Yeah, he seems to be he seems to be tying up all too much and they're getting close. Garton's trying to work, Griffiths trying to tie him up. It's a thin, thin dividing line for refs, isn't it? They like to try and let things let things flow. But sometimes by not intervening, you can actually be stifling the fight. Yeah, yeah but I think is, in this case, you've got Gartner coming strong. He looks the physically stronger of the two. But Griffiths just tied him up so he can't work inside. And you know, that's where the ref needs to, uh, you know, not, not yet, obviously, but, you know, just give Liam Griffiths a couple of warnings, not the whole work inside. Gartner coming forward all the time, trying to be the one who looks like the aggressor. Referee Ken Curtis will be the one scoring this. Well, nice couple of shots by Garton and Liam Griffiths hold straight away. Just stifling um, Garton's attacks. left hook to the body from Garton inside. Yeah, you can see Garton's uh, physically stronger of the two and he was imposing his will on Griffiths.
Griffiths hasn't put him in any sort of trouble so far. He used to stifle some of his work, but Garten has been landing the more emphatic punches. Yeah, he's come in, he's shown, uh, he's shown some good shots, he's targeting the body quite well. Uh, but as soon as, he, as soon as he lets up a couple of punches, Griffiths seems to hold in and nullify his attacks. Which is not just stopping Garten working, it's also getting him frustrated as well. Alan Smith gets his fighters very fit, and Johnny Garton certainly looks that. <laughs> Liam Griffiths fought on the unlicensed circuit for quite a while, had some 80 fights or so. Yeah, he looks like he knows his way around the ring, but like I said, he, he feels that like Garton's just the, the stronger of the two, and he, he's just trying to stop Garton from working. And like I said, he's gonna, it's, you know, if it, it, with Garden's crowd here shouting for him and screaming for him, it might, might uh, cause a bit of frustration for him. Good night, right hand, right on the bell. Man. Good round again for Garden. Yeah, he's boxing well, you know, he shows some good body shots, but, you know, he's not allowed to fight uh, full out for the full uh, three minutes of the round. Griffiths is stifling his attacks, he's making it frustrating for him. Well, I hope you're enjoying this with us. Coming up later on, Stephen Smith against Ben Jones, but these are the undercard fights. Johnny Garton here against Liam Griffiths with bags of support here at the Troxy in the East End of London. With the uh, with the hair, Second Alan down. Smith and Dean Pell. Round three. <laughs> Again, as soon as Garton gets close, Griffiths uh, just holds on. I think the referee needs to have a little word with him. I think he's going to have one now. Well, he's talking to both lads here, but. For me, it's uh, it's Griffiths really that he ought to be speaking to. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame Garton at all. You know, he's coming in to fight. He's keeping his hands inside. He's trying to work with his hands, and Griffiths just holding him and nullifying his tact. Don't mind seeing Garton throw a couple of feints, and as uh, Griffiths comes to try and hold on, then attack. So he's, he's reaching out with both hands to put his hands around uh, Garton, then attack him as he's coming in with his hands. This one win came against Johnny Greaves. It was a tight one as well. That's he's only been stopped on one occasion. Yeah, you can see why he doesn't doesn't let himself get into a lot of trouble. Good shot by Garton was short right down there. Turn to boxing Johnny Garton to lose weight initially. It's too late for me. I don't know, I could put on a little fitness plan, John. I think I could, uh, I think I could drop a few pounds off it. Done. No promise in America. Though. That's a good shot from Garton. Yeah, he's throwing some good shots, Garton. You know, he's trying, he's trying not to get tangled up, unfortunately. Liam Griffiths is just holding him at every opportunity he can get. He's just frustrating Garten. He's got a crowd-pleasing style, hasn't he? Yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice to see Garten and against someone then who's, who's, uh, who's standing in front of him and have a trade-off with him. I think it'd be a good fight then. Still at the early stage of his professional career, time on his side. Yeah, he's doing, he's doing all the things well. He's throwing that double jab, he's trying to double jab right down to the straight right to the body. He's trying to work his body, but... Unfortunately, as soon as he gets two or three punches off, Griffiths seems to hold and spoil, and I'm making things very awkward for Garden. Only in his third professional fight, Garden. Again, like we said, you know, it's all a learning experience for Garden. You know, he, he looks at he looks like a good fighter. You know, he moves his head right, throws good punches. He 
given him the first two rounds, presumably, and he's winning this one. Yeah, quite comfortable, you know, Griffiths haven't done anything to uh, initiate uh, any sort of attack on Garten. Trying to step in and land solid shots again, Garten, in the closing seconds of this round. Yeah, he's, he's such a frustration coming in on Garten now. Every time he gets close, just uses his elbow then just to push, push Griffiths away from him. Another round over, and despite the enthusiasm of the crowd, at times it's been messy. Yeah, it's been scrappy. We've got one boy trying to fight, we've got one boy trying to survive. Um, you know, it's the, it doesn't help one's like, so far, yeah, one's orthodox, yeah. and the styles just haven't right, gelled yeah. at all. And you see elbows going in, shoulders, and Griffiths has every opportunity just trying to tie Garten up. Michael Bullingall in his corner. As he walks straight into One it. Hand well, listen to me. Let the bit rear hand go and then bring the hook over. All right? Why not? Yeah, yeah. Why not try it? Why not? Well, you ain't tried it yet, have you? So let's put it together. Let's work it, okay? The left hand and tuck the right hook over, yeah? Okay? What are you going to do? Okay. Okay, what are you going to do? Okay. Okay, let's go and do it. I want to see it. Tuck that chin down. That Interesting exchange, Andrew. Yeah, I've never, never seen a fight at all back. He's turned like that before. Andrew Carlzaghi is slamming straight across the chops. Ronnie Davis is a teed off as well, isn't he? Yeah. But it's, a, it's good advice from his corner as Garten's coming in. He's trying to get him to throw a straight left hand and a right up around the side. But, you know, I think he's just more concerned than spoiling. Hard world. Nice little wink to the camera there, off Griffiths. winning this one comfortably enough but it's not been a visually appealing fight no like you said we've got one fighter trying to trying to win trying to attack we've got another fighter trying to survive and you know it can get frustrating for not just the, the fighter trying to win but for the fans as well especially all these people who paid their money to come down to watch garden Switching southpaw. There's been an awful lot of that. But it's not really with the power to keep Garten at bay either. No, he's uh he just let as soon as he comes in, he's just waiting for him to come in and he just grabbed all of them and frustrated him. Yeah, that wasn't even an attempt to throw a shot there. Switches to Orthodox, trying to confuse Garden. And in the end paid, shot. Yeah, I was gonna say in the end paid the penalty by having to ship a couple of big shots like that. Yeah, it was a nice body shot that landed. potential do you think there is in God? It's, it's hard to judge but you know he does the basics well he's, he's got he moves well when he's coming in he just don't come in swinging punches so you know he's trying to slip shots he's trying to counter shots but unfortunately as soon as he slips a shot Griffiths is straight on him by grabbing him. Oh he took his left hand there and uh, William Griffiths looks tired doesn't he in the closing seconds only 30 seconds to go and he doesn't look as though he's got much left. Yes, it's been a relentless pace by Garten, but like I said, Griffiths haven't come to win. He, you know, I think he did first round and felt how strong Garten was and just decided to spoil and survive. Just trying to see it through now to the final bell. And it's going to be win number three for Johnny Garten. Straight forward for the referee, Ken Curtis, there you go, raises the hand of Johnny Garton, it's three out of three. <laughs> Cheers of the crowd for the Pexican. Those are the good body shots that he likes to throw. Yeah, he threw some good shots, Rem reminiscent of his hero, Marco, Marco Antonio Barrera. Turns the turns left hook upwards. 
the bodies uh, hit, the, hit the floor and Revan take the wind away but Griffith, Griffiths didn't give him much opportunity to land many clean shots but a lot of his fans up on the balcony and uh, Garton was happily waving to them and we can go into the ring now and hear from Mike Goodall and see what the score was Ladies and gentlemen, the referee scores the contest. Liam Griffiths, 36 points. Johnny Garton, 40 points. The winner, Johnny Garton! As we thought, four rounds out of four. They celebrate, so does Johnny Garton, and he makes it three wins out of three.